This is a short tutorial on how to customize the toolbars in LibreOffice. One of my favorite features of LibreOffice, and part of the reason why I prefer it over Microsoft Office, particularly Microsoft Office uh, 2007 or 2010, is that this toolbar up here is highly customizable. And in fact, uh, those who are familiar with LibreOffice, you'll note that I've already done a lot of customizing. So I removed some stuff and I added some stuff because I like it a very specific way, but I'm going to show you some additional things that you can do uh, to customize your toolbar. When you would want to do this, well, if there's something that you use often, which you can see I use these features a lot because I share documents with my co-authors, um, you can add those to the toolbar so you don't have to go up and drop into the drop-down menus. Instead, you can just make them one-click options. So I've got a bunch of things that I've added into my toolbar, but I'm going to show you how to customize this to make LibreOffice as useful for you and to speed up your time in LibreOffice by making these options available. So how do you do this? Go up to Tools and down to Customize. Okay, And probably by default it'll allow you to customize that. It'll be clicked on this tab, the Menus tab. You actually want to go to the Toolbars tab. And what you'll see here is there are a whole bunch of different toolbars that you can pop up. Right now I'm just doing the standard one. The standard one is this section right here all the way over to there. Okay, This is Zotero, which is different. But it's that toolbar right there. And you can see I've already customized it, but it's actually quite easy to customize um, if you wanted to do additional things. So some of the stuff that I take out, right? one of the ones that I really don't like is sending the document as an email. So I usually take this out. And you'll see I just clicked it, so it's back in. That's that button right there. I hate that feature and I occasionally accidentally click on it instead of the save button. So I, I always get rid of that. Some of the others that are in there by default, the edit file, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's fine. Um, but you have all sorts of additional things in here. However, if you wanted to add something, kind of like what I've done with these, right? It's actually quite easy to do. I'm going to show you one that's pretty straightforward. And this is a quick button to add a bookmark. So if you wanted to add something to it, click on Add, and it's going to give you a whole bunch of different uh, what it calls macros, right? But these are basically the different commands that you have in these drop-down windows over here anyway. So one of the things that I do have to do on occasion is to actually insert a bookmark into a document. So I'm just going to go over here and click on Insert and Bookmark and hit Add. Uh, that's the only one that I wanted to add, so I'm going to close this, and you'll see right there it's given me the option already to just click a single button and it'll add a bookmark, and I'll show how to do that in a different tutorial. But that's a very easy way to customize your toolbar to make it as user-friendly for you as possible. You can move this, so if I wanted to move this instead of over there up to here, you'll see that it's now moved its location, right? So you can move these around. Um, makes it very, very nice to kind of customize how you want to do things. I actually do prefer it to be right there, so I'm going to leave it there. And once you're done, just go ahead and hit OK, and you've got a newly customized toolbar. So you can actually make these toolbars as customized as you want, leave whatever you want in, add whatever you want, take whatever you want out. But this is a very powerful feature because now you're using LibreOffice how you want to, not how somebody else thinks you should.